back. Once again, another powerful edition of the Brew Jersey Joe here. I on in the box over there coming to you from Las Vegas, chilling out, relaxing. Hope you'll join our live conversation. Grab a beer and have fun with us is what we do here each and every time. You know that. It's just like bar talk, you know what we're going to talk about. But this one, we got a crazy one because we want to know, have you ever bought a product off an infomercial? we all seen those TV infomercials, right? Or what have you bought off of them or do you think they're ridiculous? Or the products you bought, tell us about it. Did they work? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let us know your favorite infomercial product. And uh, you guys have lots of crazy things to share on this one. And Joel and I are going to share ours as well. So, Joel, I got to know, what's something you've bought off a TV infomercial? Nothing. I've never bought a, anything off a stupid <laughs> infomercial. Uh, I have to watch infomercials. That's kind of part of my job. That's why and I asked. I can't stand that I can recite them word for word. <laughs> so I hate them. I despise them. I hope that how our air fryer explodes when people buy it. So I, I got to be honest. I have never bought anything off of a TV infomercial until recently. And, uh, okay. Really? Seriously, 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 really. And here it is. I bought this. It's the copper skillet for nineteen ninety five. You know what? It's one of those nonstick skillet deals. And I got to tell you, I actually like this product. It is not bad, and I cook. You know, I cook a lot, as you as you know that I do. And you know, it was nineteen ninety five. Usually, it's things like thirty, forty bucks, whatever. So they got me in that. And when I went to the website and bought it, because uh, I didn't call a toll free number, I bought it online. But I also got this bad boy. It's the copper bacon thing, where you put your bacon in the oven in this copper nonstick thing, and it works too. In fact, it's like my new way of cooking bacon. It makes excellent bacon. And uh, it was only nineteen ninety five. But wait, if you call right now, you get two of these. You know, I didn't need two, so. I went online and yep. ordered it, and of course they tack on the shipping and handling bullshit charges, which knocks up like another five dollars. Just way to make money for them, but yeah, so I did. I think Joe, I think <laughs> I think you have a secondary career in selling bullshit products on an infomercial if you really need one. <laughs> well, you know I write for television for a living, so I could pretty much sell anything. And I guarantee you I could probably sell a lot more of these or any other crazy items. Or, or like, you know, I think on TV, maybe I should, like, be one of those guys like, sells insurance. You know, one of those things. Or, like, those good old-fashioned, like, record offers. I just don't want to be, like, Peter Popoff and sell that BS Miracle Water and rip people off like that. Like, I actually want to give them, like, a meaningful product. I'm kind of surprised you didn't get ripped off because when I think of those products, I think of, this is just Craigslist with like a tiny little bit extra more money than what they have in the trailer park. Yeah. Selling shit. Well, the reason why I did it because the price fell to 19.95. I mean, it's usually a lot more than that. And the other thing is too, I have like a big skillet that I cook in regularly, you know, as I, when I cook a lot, but it's like the coating's coming off and I'm like, well, I'm probably eating cancer right now with that Teflon coating coming off. So, and I didn't want to like go to the store and I'm here and you know, I'm like, well, let's just order it. And it was here like within a week. It was, it was no problem at all, but I'm going to let you in on a little secret. A friend of mine used to work for infomercials here in New Jersey. It's called Kelly Brands Plaza. They're the ones that do like a Big Mouth Billy Bass. And she actually worked on the original Big Mouth Billy Bass. But how these infomercials work is they'll show you that product on TV and they'll say it arrives in six to eight weeks because if they get enough orders for the product, they'll make the product. But if they don't get enough orders for the product, they won't make the product and you'll get your money back. That's how a lot of these experimental ones work. Like these copper skills have been selling for years. But when that initially came out, like it, was, it wasn't real. You were like looking at the prototype and they were just trying to sell more. If you look at it from their point of view, that's actually not a bad idea. Because how long is it going to take to manufacture X amount of orders? That's something that the regular consumer doesn't really know. I very, mean, very true. Like that's that's a good strategy. I don't. I can't really knock them for that. And the infomercial place, I mean, it's right here in New Jersey. It's just north of Jersey City here. It's up on Interstate 80. It's a big facility, and they do all – they make the half-hour infomercials, the two-minute commercials. It's a big production facility. I don't know what it pays. And, you know, I may need to investigate getting a job there someday, but it does exist. The other thing I'm going to ask you since you air commercials, the one thing that has gone away, instead of – remember when we used to air two-minute record offers, and they would show, like, all the songs and, like, you know, what you could get on, like, the two long play cassettes, whatever – they don't yeah. really show the yeah, two minute record offers anymore. Just streaming now. That's like a lost art the days that go by. The only thing we do now is we sell like prescription drugs on a two minute commercial that you and I can't possibly get or even remember the names of. Right. Yeah, they've kind of had to evolve and try to figure out what are old people still buying. <laughs> That's it, insurance and prescription drugs. And Von Moshankies writes in and he says, I purchased that living in the 90s CD back in the day. So boom, there's one of our viewers right there that absolutely fell for one of those two-minute record offer commercials. And they used to air in every break, even like up to 10 years ago, but iTunes pretty much killed that. They must have been making some decent money when they were doing that. Yeah, obviously iTunes, obviously technology is going to take them out of business, but... 
they must have been making some decent money in order to be able to still be airing it 10 years ago. Yeah, very true. Well, Larry writes in and says he bought the Sushi Bazooka. I actually Googled this thing, and you can still find it on Amazon. It is literally your own, make your own sushi rolls at home. It's like this plastic roll thing. You put all the sushi ingredients in, then you roll it up, and you slice it up, and boom, you have your it's own like, homemade sushi. You get the fish while it's still flopping, and just like toss it in the fucking <laughs> thing. <laughs> It's whatever kind of sushi you want to make at home, it's yours, and it can be yours for two payments of $19.95, plus even handling. All right, Starman writes in and he says, a Chia Pet, but I think I might have actually bought it at Kmart after seeing it on TV. Well, that's the other thing you talk about, uh, the evolution of the TV infomercial, because a lot of department stores now, you can actually go to them and buy these as-seen-on-TV products in the store, and that's exactly what it sounds like Starman did. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. I mean, if they want to stay in in a business, they kind of have to do that. Mm -hmm. Unless they're like some kind of crazy shit like the MyPillow guy, that jerk off. Like the dude that has 15 million commercials come on. Yeah. Uh, any any of the marginal ones or the just starting now ones, they probably have to use a store. Hey, speaking of that My Pillow guy, I never told you this. When I was there in Lachlan, Nevada, at the Riverside Casino, they actually have a My Pillow store. They have like a bunch of little stores in the back. There's like a whole little store, and it's all these different sizes like My Pillows and stuff. And you can pick it up, you can test it out, and see what you like. I thought you could, uh, you know, it, it says you know only on TV, but mm, nope, they all they also branched out in the stores. But you're right. That's I guess what they got to do to survive. Yeah, at least in this day and age. All right, well, David, a cool papa 654 writes in and says, I have never bought anything from an infomercial, but I have purchased several products from the new infomercial, my Facebook timeline. I get sucked into those 75% off deals. And there you go right there. He's absolutely right. Speaking of evolution infomercials, I get served those ads all the time, too. Sometimes even on Twitter, you get the promoted posts, and it's, it's an infomercial product. You know what's funny? That's kind of the new infomercial. They've moved over to social media, kind of like the newspaper has been. Mm -hmm. Has moved over to social media and become Twitter or whatever. Um, I bought stuff off of both Twitter and Instagram, so I guess you could say that I bought an infomercial product, but not really. Just kind of like the new one, mm -hmm. and uh, it was just like one item off of each. I liked both of them. Both of them were great. They were both from like startup, uh, just people trying to get their their name in the business, mm -hmm. and it was like clothing and hats. So it wasn't like um, it wasn't like critical. It wasn't anything that's going to kill me if I don't cook it right or shit like that. Like, it was something right. really small that I was willing to lose $20 on, and it turned out that it was great. So I could, I could understand that dude's, uh, that dude's, that dude's comment and, and what he was thinking when he did the same thing. Well, that's what I did with this, this copper stuff here. I, I saw the commercial run, and then I went to their dot com, and I, you know, I entered my credit card information, bought it, and it was shipped here. I mean, that, that's what I did. I didn't have to go to a physical store. I didn't call a toll free number. There was one available. And that's how I knew I'd get this bacon thing, too, with it. So, you know, it worked. I mean, you know, the dot com age is here. And if you want to sell products, you know, you got to be online. And, you know, that's the way it works. And you know what? We asked this question on our poll, too. I put that on social media and asked, have you ever bought a product from a TV infomercial? Surprise, surprise, 67% of you, nope, you did not. 33% of you did, though. So basically, our poll is saying that one out of three people have bought a product off an infomercial. But I think that's definitely like skewing like an older age group that has, because certainly millennials are not buying stuff off a of TV. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, it's A, not popular, and B, it's evolving. So mm -hmm. it, the numbers could be skewed. I'm sure that it's going to change. Yeah. Well, hey, one thing that we sell here all the time is a good time with you each and every week. So click that like subscribe button down below for more fun right here on The Brew. And also a Kicking Back Jersey Joe, my fun web show every Thursday, new episodes on YouTube. The Brew is new every Friday. My other web show, Online Gambling Jersey Joe, that's new every Wednesday as well. So much going on on the web. Hey, we're on the web. We're interacting, you know, we're all 21st century. And you know what? That's what it's all about now in this day and age, being connected. That's right. So follow us. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, stay connected to us and we'll see you here each and every week. Jersey Joe, I am the box over there saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, I hope.